my name is George Haley, and uh, this is a little bit about uh, my 11 years working for the uh, VA, the Veterans Ad Administration. So we came back from Korea in 1981, and I was losing my eyesight, and I was trying to figure what I would uh, do to uh, <laughs> keep occupied. So I went to school up at uh, Western Michigan, went through the blind rehab training program for myself, and uh, then took a program which was uh, blind rehab teaching. And this led to uh, my getting a job with the Veterans Administration in Chicago. Uh, it was a one-year master's program, and uh, so I was qualified to be a teacher of uh, the blind and those that were going blind. <coughs> so uh, I went to uh, Heinz, uh, Heinz VA Hospital is the name of the place, and uh, that was in 1985, uh, oh, 1985. And uh, started working there. I worked there 11 years. And uh, it was a very interesting job. Uh, and uh, we fellows would come in, some uh, with no sight, some with uh, just losing their sight. But many of the folks that came, many of the veterans, because this was all veterans that came through the program, and uh, <clears throat> they would come and say, well, I can't do this or I can't do that because I'm blind. And uh, we'd say, well, uh, we're, that's what we're here for, to help you learn how to do things. And a couple little examples of fellows that came through there. <clears throat> One old gentleman, he uh, had uh, some restaurants in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And when he came, his uh, nephew brought him and he told his nephew, don't bother to unpack that, I'm not going to be here that long. And his nephew says, Unc, you just got here, give it a chance. And by the time that man left, uh, about 10 weeks later, it was about an eight or 10 week program that they stayed for. And uh, when he left, he said, uh, you know, those people that sent me up here, they're gonna be sorry. Uh, the woman that I have making food for me, I don't need her. I learned how I can do that myself. And this young boy that I have go to the store and bring stuff for me, I don't need him. I can go to the store by myself. <clears throat> so it was a total turnaround. Uh, he just had a total different perspective that he could do things. Another older gentleman, and <coughs> sorry, and um, he was new there, and I was explaining to him different things. And I said, "Well, I'll take you down and show you the uh, the laundry room, so that you can do your laundry." And he said, "Well, I, I usually hire somebody to do that." And I said, well, everybody here uh, usually does their own. He said, even the blind? And I said, yes, that's what we all are. We're all blind. And then he said, oh, well, maybe I should go along with you then and see where it's at. So it had him, <laughs> made him take a different perspective of it. And as, you know, going through the different classes, I taught the typing class, uh, and uh, some little computer for some of the guys that wanted, and cooking class and so forth. And when they came, they, uh, like I say, they all felt that they were not able to do much. And uh, I said one day to one of the fellas, you know, you guys came here to learn stuff, but I'm gonna learn more from you than you learn from me, because I'm gonna pick your brain all the time you're here. So, you, you have to learn all you can. And uh, it was just gratifying to see the change in their attitude and their outlook. And uh, when they finished, they were able to uh, get around with a cane very uh, effectively. Uh, I remember one gentleman, he came in my cooking class and he wanted to learn to make jello. He really liked jello. His wife made jello. This is just a very simple thing. 
but he wanted to learn how to make jello. And I asked him how he did it, and he explained, and I said, okay, I think I see where the... He said, the problem is when I make it, it always ends up with just a big glob in the bottom of the dish, in the bowl. And I said, okay, I think I know what you mean. And I said, well, you show me what you do. And uh, he did, and he put the water in a pan, and then he poured it in there. And I said, uh, the problem is uh, you needed to heat the water in the pan first. Oh, is that it? And so he put the water back in the pan. Then he put the uh, jello powder in the uh, casserole dish and heated it up and poured it in there and stirred it up. And then it, when it was all done, it was such a simple little thing. He didn't put hot water on the uh, jello package. He just put cold water and of course it just solidified like a lump of <laughs> uh, jelly. And uh, he was so happy just showing him that little bitty thing. And so, so many things. It was just simple little things that they didn't know how to do. And by the time they left, why they had learned. And, uh, and our goal there was each uh, experience, whether it was cooking or walking or typing or whatever, was to give them a success story. If they were successful at one, then we build on the next one and the next one so that they always had a success experience. And by that, they learned that success makes success. And they got confidence by uh, having a success experience each time.